へいベイビーズ What's up my darling MVPs and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot. So, yeah, guys, it's another round of diary session with Biggie and the No Lose Guards housemates. And the first set to make it um for this diary session today was the um was the pair again the flourish the pair of DJ Flo and Ruthie. So yeah, guys, sincerely, if someone would tell me that this diary session is gonna be an interesting one, I wouldn't even believe because yo, Ruthie literally said a whole lot, like she spilled a whole lot. So we're gonna be taking it bit by bit, okay? Okay, first off, um. They were, of course, they were being asked about whom they've connected or bonded with at least a little in the house. So, according to Ruti, they mentioned the Zimwe pair, that is the pair of Chinwe and her man, Zion. And then, and they also mentioned the Radicals, and then they mentioned Cassia, that is the double K pair. They said the both of them anyways, but this, um, according to Ruti, she's closer to the to the, um Kelly, Kelly Ray, that is the husband to Cassia and then but they, they are close to they like Cassia according to um DJ Flo she's even more closer to Cassia but they love the double K in general you know and then Ruti complained about Dami you know everyone is complaining about Dami so um Ruti felt like Dami is actually a rude person you know she's kind of you know the way she speaks and everything the same thing everyone is saying about her you know so meanwhile she said something when she was talking about the double K, when she was saying, oh, the double K, I want people they like, so they bond with. They, she and DJ Flo was like, but Biggie, there is something fishy going on with the double Ks. There is something really, really going on. We are trying to take our time to find out, to place our hands around it. I think they're actually selling friendship to us while those people are in a relationship. And they were like, in fact, um, Chimwe actually said that um, they are probably married and maybe three years already in marriage that these people are not just friends. The kind of connection they are seeing that they are not just friends. <laughs> they said they are taking their time to really find things out, map things out to know if they are right or wrong, that they could be wrong, but they feel like something is really going on with the double K that is Kelly Ray and his woman, you know. Then they spoke about the Mbadiwe twins. According to them, the Mbadiwe twins are cool people, right? They are cool guys, they are sweet guys, but they feel like they have this um they changed after this HOH authority was bestowed on to them. <laughs> it is giving Bible language. So they felt like um authority is playing on them and they are quite strategic. At the long run, Ruthie got so emotional, she cried when she was thanking Biggie for giving them the opportunity to be here, that it has been a dream come true, you know. And then she also made mention, Ruthie spoke more, yes, yeah, she, she did speak more. It may seem as though she had a lot to say. In fact, Ruthie was our Onyeka in the diary room. You know all those gist Onyeka will be dropping outside in the house. Ruti was the one giving it to us in the diary room. So, and she said she's very, she's getting comfortable with Mayor. Yes, she's getting comfortable with Mayor. And then she likes Dr. Dice TJ of the Better Pair. You get. And then she said something. Hmm, guys, Wahala be like bicycle. She said something about Sean. 
right so because i've not really dropped the gist of the conversation sean had with um which was her name with wani but let me just tell you what she said about sean we'll still have that conversation we'll probably talk about it tomorrow right so um she says something about sean that she, the uh, that's ever since they it's just like four days they got to the house right and then all of a sudden, um, sh they all already see Sean and Wani to be a pair because they are getting cool and cozy together. But she was so surprised that Sean came to her, right, to have some conversation with her. You get? Sean came to have some conversation with her, you know, and then she was like, oh, she's open to conversation, but she doesn't like crossing her boundary because from her end, she's already she has already started seeing... Um, what was he called? Sh um, Sean and Wani as a pair. And she said what made her feel a kind of way was she asked Sean, if you win the head of house, whom would you like to take to, as your guest to the head of house room? Then she said it was Sean's reply that got to her. Sean said she he would have preferred guys. But you know how ladies behave. That if he choose guys, the, uh, the Wani pair would actually feel a different kind of way. So that's why he would have to go with the Wani pair. So in her mind, she felt like, uh -uh. why did this guy say this this way? Does it mean that you're making it look like this girl is the one forcing herself on you? Because for you to say you would have preferred guys, but you know how ladies used to behave. Do you want to tell me that this girl is behaving this way without you giving her the go ahead? Or without you giving her the room to? Or you think she's forcing her? You know, she said she was just thinking a lot. She was like, uh-uh, are these guys trying to play game here or what? Are they trying to play game? Because the last time I checked, you and this girl are cool. You are supposed to even said it one hand that you're choosing them. But coming to look, make it look like, oh, that's, um, you would have chosen a guy. But see, the ladies will reason the other way. It actually sounded odd to her and be like, this guy is literally playing a game. And that she hopes the guy does not hurt Wani. And then the guy also told her that she has also told Wani to associate with other people to associate with other housemates and not be you know which they have that conversation and we're gonna discuss it tomorrow by god grace yes um funny enough the i don't know why ruthie had to take this so personal because sean um sean had a conversation with um one and one that they are gonna just open up to other housemates because they know they got each other but the way she was now sounding like sean is trying to you know play a game with wani because she does not really understand what is even going on. Let's even start from there. Not knowing that Wani and Sean had a conversation already. So she, she's thinking Sean is actually playing a game on Wani. And then she said immediately after they had that conversation, it was not long. She, um, Sean started tapping her backside and everything. And then she feels like, whom does this guy think he is playing? And she was like, Biggie, in this house, we just have to be very careful because these people are playing game. They also made mention of, I think it's the Aces uh, pair, that they're actually here also for sh playing game and everything. That they feel like because of they did not get, um, what was it called? The Aces pair did not get any votes because it was the Aces and then the, what was it called? The Zimwe pair that did not get even single vote during the head of house challenge. So this Ruti thing she feels because aces did not get um votes during the head of house challenge so that's why they're trying to be on people's faces and trying to add relationship with almost everybody so as to bring their presence noticed so as what well, repeated before would not happen again um Ruti dropped unexpectedly all this gist i never expected from her i was thinking their diary session is going to be just lit um, um small but guess what their diary session was actually a very long one so after them was the double k in the diary room so for the double k biggie asked them how they are doing they said they are cool and everything you know biggie was actually constantly asking um kelly ray if he is okay baby boy is actually acting funny and biggie was asking the diary room is a comfortable place where you can actually pour out your heart hope you're fine R uh, kelly said he's okay biggie really asked that question continuously so as to see if he would get a reply but kelly said he is fine only said um before coming to the house he was having this code blah 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 but he is actually okay you know so um but the thing okay when for kelly he said he has connected with dj flow the radicals um the body weight twins and all that and then he said the housemate think 
that he is a rude person, that he comes off rude to the housemate, but he's just trying to get used to the house and everything, trying to get comfortable, that people would see him and think he is rude, but that is not whom he is. And the wife, he also said she vibe with everybody, that she's literally cool with everybody, that there is no housemate that has given any negative impression because Kelly said the AC spare are really, he's not really cool with those ones that they've not really had good conversation but the wifey felt like um she is cool with literally everyone that everybody she vibe with everybody in the house but there is something i noticed about this too which the public also noticed you know if i was there when i got into the diary room i would give myself a big tight hug and i'll probably even kiss my man and all of that but they were acting strange they were not even acting like see these people are not acting like a couple i'm like wait I thought when I was observing this, I was thinking, okay, maybe it's just, it's just me because I'm filled up with maybe romance and love, you know. But I went to the social space, people are complaining the same thing. So people are like, I doubt that these people are couples. There was no connection, guys. In fact, Biggie noticed the awkwardness among them. Biggie even said, oh, would you like to have a hug? And they both said yes. And they started referring to Biggie. You have your wife there. Your wife has the host Bobby there. And your mind did not even tell you that Biggie is referring for them, the two of you, to hug. Guys, hey, <laughs> wahala. Imagine you have your best person beside you and Biggie is talking about hug. Is it not to hug your person? Just imagine the was this bed, the first bed that went, the flourish bed. They hugged each other. They did hug each other when Biggie made mention of hug. So now telling these people, these people are like, okay, yes, Biggie would like to hug you. Biggie was now told them, never mind. Biggie literally said, never mind, because the connection was really not connecting, even to him, you know. So that was how they actually had their diary session. And people have been saying a lot about their diary session on the lack of connection for people who is said to have been 10 years together and gotten married in February, that it's really not giving. Any which ways, after them was the, um, the uh, was, what are they called again? The checkers. The checkers. Now, guess what? Um, the you know, uh, what was her name? Onyeka has been the CNN in the house. And then people have been waiting for her diary session. But guess what? What she was given in the house was what, not what she was given in the diary session. People were even calling Biggie. Biggie, what is going on? Why is it that when these people get to the diary room, they are not vibey? Like, they, what is that fear that is getting to them, that is creeping them in, in the diary room, you know? Any which ways, um, people felt like they've been waiting for Onyeka's diary session. They think she's going to be supplying gist one after the other, but they did not really get that vibe. Though, when she wanted to start gisting Biggie something, Biggie was like, spare me that. Though, they did not get it. When Biggie said, spare me that, she continued and Biggie was like, summarize. So, I think that also hurt her when, when she's trying to get comfortable that also hurt her and then she did not you know give us gist like she was supposed to the gist she was supposed to give us ruti gave us all of them in her own diary session so that's why i said ruti is the onyeka in the diary room right <laughs> And for the people they bond with in the house, um, what's her name? Um, Onyeka said she bonds so well with Mikey that she is somebody that is always high there. And Mikey is that person that literally lit up the rooms whenever he's around. That is also a vibey person. And then there is something um, Femi's waistline is doing to her. Of course, these both pairs she mentioned are the radical pairs. You know, so she did mention that she's really cool with those two so much that she resonated with them. It's because of their energy. And then she said Dami was somebody she actually have a different perception about. But she had actually had conversation with her and she thinks she's a nice person. She's just been misunderstood. You know, then the sister, which is um Chizoba, said her baby is the first person she's going to speak about connection. That is Ben Jab and Ben. She said Ben is a sweet guy. You know, Chizoba said Ben is a sweet guy. Also spoke about TJ. And then she said she's also cool with the Tammy pair. That is Dami of the Tammy pair. That they are cool with each other. You know, then that was the people they have bond with. And um, that's it. You know, so people felt like, oh no, the the checkers, uh, what's it called? They are the checkers, right? Yeah, the checkers that um their diary session was really not what they expect. But what do you want them to do? They actually spoke their two cents, you know, and how they feel generally in the house. Yeah. Any which ways, guys, I think I'm gonna be dropping my voice on this one. Did you watch the diary session? What do you think about the three diary session I spoke about? The um flourish pair, the double K, and then um the Chakers. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so so much, guys, for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.